Hi everyone, I'm Amy Booth and welcome back to the Blue Rose Kennels YouTube channel sponsored by Canine Chronicle TV. In a previous video, we showed you how to groom golden retriever feet and several of you have requested us to continue on and finish off the hawk. So we're gonna do that for you today, so stay tuned. Thank you for joining us again today. We're going to finish off the look of the golden retriever foot by doing the hawk trim. This is just my technique. I know there's several ways to do hawk trimming. I'm showing you a, a couple different ways. One hawk was one way, another hawk is another way. So we hope that you enjoy. And remember this, every teacher can teach you something different. There's always something to learn and nobody is wrong, but you put all those instructions inside your bag and you have your own bag of tricks for the next time you groom. So here we go. Okay, we are going to use a comb really well. We've already used our mitt and our thinning shears and our six and a half inch straight scissors with an extra fine point for around the toes. I have not yet done this dog's toenails, so the toenails look long. But I'm going to use my comb here to show the distance that I'm going to trim off of the hawk. Just slightly take those ends off the hawk, okay? I'm going to take those 4420s and in a downward motion, pulling the tail away, I'm going to start trimming off, going straight down and then blending it into the foot. This area right in here at the bottom of the foot, depending on the dog, I'll leave it fuller. More space right in here. However, this dog didn't have much here, here, so I'm blending out what she did have. Now I'll use my comb to hold it out, and again, take those tips of the length off, but I'm leaving the hawk hair kind of full on this leg. and blending any edges with those thinners. Every hawk is different. You have to look at what you're given and trim to what you have. You also want to have an end result in your mind of what you're trying to get to. Now looking from the rear, you're gonna turn the hair of the hawk towards the outside with your comb and blend the edges down. This helps create a nice full hawk, but neatened up. Once you're happy with how it's looking from one side, let me clean up that edge a little bit more. We are going to just double check it, make sure it's all even, neaten it up. Very little hair is coming off. Now we're going to pull it to the inside and do the same thing. Take off any edges very lightly. You see I'm not coming in tight. Very lightly thin it off and blend it out. So one way and the other way. Then I brush it down or comb it down and see what's hanging out from side to side. You see a little bit of foot hair on the bottom here and you do want everything looking as perpendicular as possible. So you tidy up the bottom of the feet and blend it in. Again, if I had a different dog with fuller hair at the bottom of the foot, I might be trimming this differently. This is what I have to work with with this dog. And what my goal is, is to grow out some of this bottom hair in here. But for now, since it looks a little scraggly, I'm going to neaten it up with some thinning shears ever so lightly. But I do want to grow in that bottom portion of the hawk hair and have it be a little bit fuller in time. That would be something I'm working towards when I trim. Neaten up anything that's scraggly and, and sticking out from side to side. Okay. 
Going to compare the two hawks really quick. My trimmed one and my untrimmed one so you can kind of see what we're working with. Now I'm going to take my butter knife is what I call it. It's a classic stripping blade and I'm going to go down the back of the hawk and neaten up any edges. This is going to take away any scissor marks or anything like that on the hawk that will make it look like it's been trimmed. It makes it look a little more natural and blends the fluff of that hawk hair into the leg. So it's looking good from side to side. You have some fullness to it. Now I'm just going to take any little scragglers and tidy them off. But other than that, I'm pretty happy with this hawk. And this is how I trim a fuller hawk. Again, I wish there was a little more hair on the bottom of the hawk, but that's how I would trim a fuller hawk. And we're gonna do a different approach on the other side. There's your comparison left to right. And that's your side profile. Again, the bottom area we'd like a little fuller. The right hawk, there's some missing hair in here and we're going to even it off. Uh, some people like a really short hawk, so I'm going to show you, there's the missing hair. So on this side I'm going to show you how to trim it a little bit shorter and still full. So again, uh, using my comb and going down with my thinning shears, I'm going to make my lines perpendicular to the ground. and blend it into the back of the foot so there's no little flyaways down there. Always comb it out, see where you're at, lift it up and comb. But on this hawk, we're trying to get rid of that little gap of missing hair and make it blend a little bit and look a little more natural. Again, you guys, you see more nail on this dog than I would typically like to show in trimming around the foot. And I want you to remember one thing. I like to do my grooming on the beginning of the week. And so I have a little bit of regrowth before the dog show. And on this dog, I hadn't yet done her nails. So there's a little more nail exposed than typical. Okay, from the rear view, we're going to take our comb to the outside again and trim off any wispies. But I am going a little shorter this time than I did on the show side. And when I'm all done, I'm going to match both hawks. I just wanted you to see a little bit of a difference between leaving some length and taking them a little tighter. Now I'm combing to the inside and again using my thinning shears to trim it down. but you can already tell this hawk is a little bit uh, lighter in hair than the first hawk that I trimmed. After combing it out, I'm going to neaten it up a little bit. Again, down here is an area that I would like to fill in with some more hair, but until it fills in, we're just going to neaten it up. Sorry, my head gets in the way so I can get the right angle. I don't keep it there for long, I apologize. And just cleaning up around the pads, making it all blend. So I'm just cleaning out those edges. I see a couple edges on the other foot and I touch them up as well. Always stop to comb. Now you can see how the second hawk has less hair on it than the first hawk. And it's all in the look that you like, how you want to trim them. I also use a different trim depending on the dog and what looks best on that dog. So I kind of lift up some hair and thin it out a little bit. Just making it neat. 
you see lots of scissor action, but not a lot of hair falling off. So just remember that, folks. You don't have to be cutting a lot of hair to have a good haircut. And now I'm using that classic knife again to blend out any scissor marks. This does help to roll the coat, always promoting new hair growth. combing it out again you can see the difference between the two sides and it's up to you which ones you like I just want to teach you tools that you can keep and use whenever you trim your choice and there's a side view a little less hair on it And don't forget, guys, you can go to our Blue Rose Kennels website and go shopping. You go to the store, and we have all these different subcategories under store. But for this video, you're going to click on Grooming Products, and that will take you to the links that we have with various types of combs. And if you scroll down more, the mitt that we use, the classic butter knife that I use. And you go down further and you'll see JL Sharp Shop and some of the scissors that we recommend. Stay tuned as this website is currently being updated to include the Show Dog Store products that we recommend. We're really excited to get those updated on here for you. We hope you enjoyed today's lesson on hawk trimming for golden retrievers. Again, every groomer can groom and teach you a different technique. It's up to you to use what you've learned and develop your own style. So thank you for watching. We hope you enjoyed yourself. If you like what we're doing here on our channel, please subscribe, like this video, ring the bell so you're notified anytime we upload new content and share this channel with anyone you think might like it. Have a great day, and we'll see you in our next video.